just adjust you so I can see you. Hi and good afternoon again. Happy Tuesday to you. My name is Esther, if you don't know already, and the channel or page that you're watching is Stampin' Star Creations. Welcome along. Today I'm going to be doing a card making technique. You may have seen it before, you may not have, but do come along and just um, enjoy the ride and see what we're making today. It's always lovely to have people watching live. I try and remember to read out comments, so if you're watching this on replay or on YouTube, then you get to, to at least hear people's comments. So be using, I'm going to be using a new stamp set today called Bows and Blossoms, which is available in our new, mini, I say R, in Stampin' Up's new mini catalogue. At the moment, Celebration is on, which means for every £45 purchase, you can choose a freebie. So bear that in mind. You can shop at my online shop at stampinstarcreations.co.uk if you want to find out more. So let's turn you around. Do come on in and say hello. I'm going to try and keep um tabs on comments on my other device hopefully if i can get that working and today's inspirational colors comes from a facebook page called the su color challenge there i am let me just make sure my volume is down great and the colors that we are asked to use or um that they've put out for inspiration is a melon mambo, pumpkin pie, granny apple green, and a daffodil delight. So those are our colours. Now with the Joseph's coat technique, you lay down a lot of colour onto the page first. And then it's weird because then you go and cover it in black in a minute. But or a dark colour. So this is Bows and Blossoms, and this is a great stamp set to use with this type of technique because you ideally want nice, bold images that will show the colour through. So, hence using this stamp set. So, the great thing about this is kind of no right or wrong when you come to colour in the um, your paper because it's just about laying down some colour. So I'm going to try and be as sort of sporadic as possible and <laughs> just get the colour down. I think the more colour that's on there, the more that's that's mixed in, it's quite nice because you get a lot of um, different colours going on. So I'm using my blending brush and we're going to do it all over and coming right to the edges of our work as well. So I'm kind of doing spots, although there's... and I'm sort of... I'm adding quite a lot of strong colour because I want it to show through it might look like a hot mess at, to start with but just trust the process as we say hi there nice to see you i can see valerie and i can see amanda saying hi so i'm going to come in my orange which is pumpkin pie now i'm going to try and do a better job of blending a little bit i'm not i'm sort of going against all blending rules here <laughs> You want to sort of dab off a bit of colour first before you come onto your paper because you get great big splodges like I've done with my yellow. So take your time with it and enjoy the process of blending. Welcome Joanna, good to see you. So it's difficult to be random. I think we're creatures of routine and habit and we like things just so, don't we? So when it comes to laying down colour and trying to be random, <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job at being random because I keep going next to the yellow. But I did also want the colours to next to each other because they're next to each other in the colour wheel, so I want them to, to merge a bit and look nice. I'm just going to... there you go. So if I move you a bit higher out of my way, and you could still see what's going on, we're all good. <laughs> I think I'm going to do Mambo next. So I had a lovely um, walk this morning around our estate, I guess to call it. Run. <laughs> it sounds like I own property when I say estate. I don't mean that. <laughs> oh dear, you know what I mean? Around the area, I should say. I had to walk around the area, okay? <laughs> oh, sorry. Made myself laugh. Right, um... Yes, and I took my camera with me because it's a lovely cold and frosty morning. And if you are friends with me on Facebook, you'd see the 
photos that I took this morning. Good morning. Um, hi there, Wendy. Joanna says she loves doing this technique, but haven't done it in ages. Ah. Well, I did it recently. Well, say recently. I did it for a... Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this. I don't think I've shown this yet. Um, I did a calendar class. Oh, this isn't it. That's not the Joseph technique. That's a different technique. And so look at this. This is what we're aiming for, folks. I keep freezing. I'm not sure if it's my end or yours, says Julie. Can someone just confirm? Like, give me lots of thumbs up and hearts if I'm okay. Or give me sad faces if it's not okay. And then that way I know really quickly if it's Julie or if it's me. <laughs> if that's okay. Okay, I can see hearts. Thank you. It looks like I'm okay. Great. Thank you. See, the joy of being able to just communicate quickly. Because by the time you comment and I get it through, there's about a seven second delay. So um, you can just communicate like that. Oh no, it's freezing for Kay. <laughs> it's, that's strange, isn't it? Let's just check my connection. Um, what have I got here? Hi there, lovely. Hi, Matt. <clears throat> it's Facebook. I always get it. I find it's better to watch with the Facebook web page rather than on the app. Ah, that's interesting, Joanna. Hi, Navarana. Nice to see you. I think I'm always surprised when I see you. <laughs> but it's a nice... Oh, I froze then. Oh, Margaret said we'll have to watch on catch up. For some reason, Facebook and iPads have problem with live videos keep freezing. That's really frustrating, isn't it? Good morning, Lisa. The thing is, I do like to do a YouTube and a Facebook because I think it reaches different audiences. So, you know, I would maybe consider doing it on YouTube, but I think it's quite nice. Oh, Kay's got to go watch on replay. For some reason, I keep freezing. Am I okay for everybody else? Hopefully I am. I'm going to... On my screen, it's coming out fine, so... Oh, and Everana says, it looks nice and vibrant. What am I doing? I'm using these colours, which were um, part of the Stampin' Up! colour challenge, Navarana. And I'm doing what's called the Joseph's Coat Technique. Which turns out something a bit like this. Okay. So now, because our ink is going to be rather wet, I'm just going to um, put on my heat tool. <clears throat> and um, I might just give it a little bit of a blow dry. What would you like to say? Would you like a blow dry and a perm? Not a perm today, just a blow dry. So I might just give it a blow over to make sure that ink is nice and dry. You might want to turn down your volumes a little bit. Oh, I've got this and every other wire that it's attached to. So there's two settings on our heat tool. Uh, one, two and off, or three settings off. <laughs> one and two. The first setting is like a lower blast of heat, which is great for drying. Um, there's a faster setting, which is number two. And that is great for doing heat embossing, and we'll use that setting in a minute. So now that I've given it a little blow dry, are you happy with your blow dry? Should I have a cup of tea with that? Right, now we're going to come in with... This is an embossing buddy, and um, inside it's got um, powder, or I call it house dust. It's not really house dust. And I'm just going to give it a good tap. Now Stampin' Up! used to sell these, but they don't anymore, so you can get them from all good craft stores. And this just takes away any static or oils that are on your finger fingers. Ready, nice, clean and dry surface to um, address the stamping. Is it really glitchy? I'm sorry if it's not coming through very well for people. It doesn't seem to be an issue when I'm watching on my other screen. But if it's completely terrible for lots of people, <laughs> I might consider starting again. Or... Oh something like or finishing off on youtube or something so i will carry on so the stamp set bows and blossoms 
I'm going to bring it on and we're going to start popping some flowers onto blocks. So maybe, maybe it's certain devices or I don't know. I can't help. So Navarana says you could put cornstarch or baby powder in a a what stock. <laughs> There's no need to buy one. You don't have to buy one of those special embossing buddies. You can make your own through things from home in a something sock. Do you mean like a stocking or something? Now I'm wondering whether to, yeah, let's just mount them all and then I'll decide if I'm going to use all of them or some of them. She meant stocking. <laughs> right, so we're going to use, oh, where are you? There we are. Versamark ink. So Versamark ink is called a watermark stamp pad because it means that when you print it onto coloured card it looks as if there's a watermark. It will make the, the image that you stamp darker. And it's also great if you're using embossing powder with it. So I'm going to be using a clear embossing powder today. And I did get organised, yep, here's my piece of paper. And then I'm going to just, I'm not going to do like a particular pattern, I'm just going to add my images onto the paper. I said I'm not going to do a particular pattern and then I'm... <laughs> I had a little change of heart then, just for a second. I'm going to get my main flowers down first. Now I can just about see just about where I've stamped. So I can tilt the paper and pick up my image. But I'm going to work fairly quickly-ish. Because I don't want this to dry on me just yet. I'm going to make sure I get all these lovely images down and it's a bit of magic really because you're never quite sure how it's going to look until you finish which is the joy of doing this technique so just you want to be careful not to overlap your stamping where possible and then I'm going to come in with the clear emboss. Now, generally, it does stay sticky for a little while. So you don't have to, like, you know, be so hurried that you, you know, it won't get a chance to stick. But um, you do want to work fairly, you know, swiftly. Right, I'm going to carefully tip all my powder back off the page. Find a spot that I can grab in my tweezers. Okay, this corner looks good. Bang, bang, bang. This gets the excess off. Now, now that I've taken the powder off, you get to see if there's any blank spots. There's a great big blank spot there. And then also there might be smudges where you don't want the embossing powder to go, which I can see near the flower and the leaf. So we're going to sort that out now. Hi Levine, nice to see you. So I'm just going to put that to the side and I think I'll just come in with this image here to fill that space nicely. Oh, missed a bit. It's a bit like glitter, you can, you know, it will last for ages and ages if you treat it properly and put the majority back in the pot and as long as you don't knock it over that's the other thing now if you're really organized you'd have a um, paintbrush to hand let me see if I can find one fairly swiftly oh yes now the sun was glaring earlier and now I feel like I'm 
got a lot of artificial light there, right? So you just take a little paintbrush and you can just brush off any excess. Should really have this on my desk because it would be very handy. Right, let's get this heat tool on. <clears throat> has anybody tried this technique before? Or has anybody not tried this technique? Like I said, the solid stamps tend to be, have um, good results. But this is quite a fine line stamp and it still works quite well, as you can see. So as long as there's some kind of solid image that can shine through, you're all right. And you don't have to do it with black. You could use any dark colour. Today I think I will use black. You might want to turn down your volumes for a minute while I just give this a blast. I'm going to melt the powder. We apply the heat and it'll go a nice clear colour. As soon as it turns you can move your heat tool along to do the next piece of your project. Gonna make sure that's all nice and embossed. So nope, Wendy hasn't tried it. And nor has Amanda. Okay, so now what you're left with is this lovely shiny emboss on your colours. Now I'm just gonna make sure that's cool and not tacky. It doesn't take long, just give a little wafty wafty. Okay, now this is the fun bit. Don't panic, but have a soft cloth or a towel or something to hand because we're going to rub off the excess um, from our, emboss our embossing at the end. That just really makes it all pop. So I'm going to get my black memento ink and we're going to swipe on the colour and get as much colour on here as possible. Okay, so black memento is a nice thick... Um, not a thick, that's not the word I'm looking for, a fabric, um, is it dye based? I get, I get mixed up with these, water based, fast drying ink, right, we're using this, my doorbell's gone, typical, be right back, sorry. I was thinking about that earlier. It was the, the post lady actually today. I usually get a postman. And the fact that, you know, um, oh, I quite like that. Now, do we leave it? Or shall I add more? I'm going to leave it like that and you tell me if I should leave it or add more. Um, yeah, the timing of my lives. I thought, oh, that's good because I normally miss the, po the postman. But... Um, and just be careful not to put my finger down because I know what I'm like. I'm gonna now. I'm coming in to buff it up. It makes such a difference. Let me just zoom you in a bit. Oh, Wendy's performing stamp surgery. Sounds dangerous, Wendy. What on earth are you cutting? Yeah, let me vote for whether I should add more black or whether you like it as it is with the stripes. Look at it come to life. Woohoo! So exciting this bit when you get to rub it out again. <laughs> what do you think? Should we leave it with the streaks? I, I think it's quite fun with the streaks. Lisa likes it as it is. R Rose says, Rose Ellen. Welcome, Rose Ellen. She wants more black. <laughs> More black, says Rene. Rene. 
Sorry, Renee. I quite like it like it is. <laughs> but what I'm going to do maybe is go this way. And get like a hash lines going across this way. And that's my compromise, okay? <laughs> right, Rose Allen says, I love that you can see the detail in the petals now that you wipe it. I mean, that looks a little bit scruffy. But when you go to wipe it down, I just had a thought. I wonder what this would look like if I embossed it, dry embossed it. And I just had another thought. I could put a stencil on it. So this is as it looks now. So look at those pops of colour. Isn't that fun? It's always neon. Fabulous. Oh, that's nice with harsh lines, <laughs> says uh, Rose Ellen. Yeah, I like that look. So, like I said, if you keep adding black, you can and make it, you know, fully black. But I quite like the fact that it's given it texture. I'm going to try something a bit brave and get some of my new masks out, which happen to be here. I love this one. And I might do a little bit of stenciling. Why not? Because we can. Have I got, I think this one's dedicated to the black one. Let's see. I look a little bit oriental, I think. I wonder if I've got a new black memento ink. Um, I'm very organised in my inks at the moment. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, no, not meant to. Uh, I don't think I've got any here. Oh, no, it is Memento. Oh, I'm confusing myself. <laughs> it's Memento I'm after, isn't it? Yes, it's that one. I'm getting confused with the other one. Let's just put a bit more ink on here. Oh. Came out a little bit faster than I thought then. I inked up my <laughs> a colour earlier. I won't tell you what it is because it was for something. And um, I put a bit too much on. Didn't need so much ink. Rub this in a bit. Right. Let's get a fresh scrap sheet. Like so. And I'm just going to go a little bit cautiously. Because, I don't know, because I don't necessarily want it all over. I'm going to see if I can just, because if it doesn't look right, then I'm not going to carry on. <laughs> That's why. A little sneaky peek. Okay, so there's a hint of it down there. You probably can't see it very well. So I'm just going to carry on, but just do a little bit around the edges. It's difficult to see what's what. Because you probably won't show up as much because we've already laid down the black. So but It's just to add an extra bit of texture to see if it works work or not. Okay, let's rub that out again. Give it a little buff. Give it a little buffy. See if it's done anything for it or not. Okay, let's assess the situation. <laughs> so we could pick out like almost like a lace effect around the edge. So maybe if I didn't go in for the second swipe, it might have shown up a little bit more. But I, I think I'm happy with that. The question is, do I mount it on a piece of white card now? I've got very mucky fingers. Um, bring down my box of delights. Oh, this one's calling me. What colour are you? No, you're magenta. Where's Mambo? Oh, mambo. I've not cut out any mambo. Okay, I'm just going to use my index card. <clears throat> that was what it looked like on mambo. Is the cloth you're using to wipe off the black wet or is it dry? It's a dry 
um micro, not microfiber like a soft cloth it used to again stamping up used to sell this um like a cleaning cloth it's like those cleaning cloths you get in your glasses case whoop zelly didn't realize the time she didn't know i was here let's try daffodil i quite like the pink not so keen on the yellow one let's try <laughs> let's try she says black on black or we could do uh, Lisa says I like the scrap piece with the lace design on it oh the leftover <laughs> it's amazing what your scraps can look like isn't it a little pop of pink on a black is that too dark if you've got a black card you're like oh that's a bit dark or we could go fresh on white. Oh, the choices. Oh, the possibilities. What about a little pink layer on the white? I think I might go for that, like a more modern, fresh look. That'll give me a chance for you to reply, for me to get my card. Oh, Wendy likes the intense black. You like the intensity of the black. Do you like it on a pop of pink? My, I need to get whatever happens. I need to get out the melon mambo. <laughs> so I'll do that now. I think poor melon mambo gets a little bit. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> You're the right size. Gets a little bit lost, doesn't it? Since magenta's come along and taken the line light a bit the magenta madness is a different colour very bright and bold, um, almost more neon oh Joanna likes the black with the pink you guys are liking the black in terms of black okay so I'm going to trim this one down a bit because it will be too big so I'm going to go to um, three and three quarters by five and a half just a smidge which will give me a little border I think and then we could go on the little pop of pink um, right three and seven eight Five and five eighths is my usual button layer size. Hello, Janet. Great to see you. How are you doing today? Okay, so I've got a nice little pop of pink. And I am going to lob out the middle because I could save myself so much more card by gutting it. I'm a bit naughty. I don't measure. I just chop it out and just... Okay, that will do donkey, like so. And then we will need, and I'm trying to do this as I make cards, a centerpiece so that we've got a, checking this is the right size, I cut out a piece earlier, it wasn't the right size. Okay, we're good to go folks, we're good to go. <laughs> Just having to check. Hello, Sir Bobby. Uh, Joanna says she prefers Melon Mambo over Magenta. It's a completely different colour, isn't it? Magenta is very bold and in your face, isn't she? Uh, Mambo is a little bit more chilled. It's got a little bit more um, sort of almost bluey tones in it. Like, um, a bit calmer, isn't it? I like Melon. It's nice to go back to Melon Mambo after you've <laughs> played with a certain colour. You're like, oh yeah, actually, you're quite nice. <laughs> I find that with crushed curry as well. These always remind me of slight, you know, slightly oriental look. I don't know if it's to do with the black or the colours or what, but it just gives me that impression of a slightly sort of oriental inspired. Maybe it's the lace. Right, let me just bring on a piece of paper and just give this a little rub down. Make sure it's nice and stuck. 
And then before I forget, I will put the piece inside. Oh, because we can, let's stamp a little flower. <laughs> you could tell. Well, this isn't a new ink pad anyway, because I upgraded my ink pads, but um, I was going to say you can tell it's a new one, can't you? Because very juicy. Juicy Lucy. Right, that would do it. I'll start getting carried away otherwise. Janet says she's good. She's just tidying up her craft room. I seem to be constantly tidying up my craft room, Janet. <laughs> Although, now, some of you I was on a Zoom with recently and I was talk talking about this pigeonhole... Is Navarana still here? Pigeonhole storage that I've got, which is like nine by nine... Sorry, it's got nine pigeonholes... And it's about five inches square each hole. And it's almost a slightly awkward shape. And I felt like it became a bit of a dumping ground. So the news is I've moved it and I've hung it on the wall by my front door to see if, you know, it's going to be usable there. And then in its place, somebody the other day was going to the charity shop and getting rid of um, some bits. I did offer this piece to Ruth, so Ruth, I, if you're watching this later, I don't know if this piece will get to you because I'm using it, so I'll just take you off the stand and show you. So it was on top here, but look at this beautiful piece of vintage, I don't know, I think it's vintage, it's a lovely old drawer, and um, inside I'm just keeping my catalogues on now, but it's so lovely, look at it, it's, you know, like... It's just so, oh, I don't know. <laughs> and it's nice and worn and I like it as it is. There you go. Right, back to the card. I'm going to try and move slowly and wheel you across the room again. Okay. Put you back in there. Right, so there's our, um, um, what should you call it? <laughs> Joseph's coat technique. Now, what I'm tempted to do now is to put a, Maybe a black strip across and put a sentiment on. And I'm desperate for lots more happy birthday cards, so that's what it'll be. I mean birthday cards. So let me just see if I can find a black card in it. See if I've got any strips. No. And then I could emboss in white, maybe. Maybe we do a little thin one because we don't want to hide all the. Hmm. Let's have a look. Let's have a think and a look. Let's move that out of the way a minute. I could do gold. Do you want gold embossing? I think white might be a bit stark. Do you think black? What about black on black? Would that show up? I'm going to try black and gold. Let's see. Let's get this finished off nicely. And then you get to see it from the start to the finish. Excuse me, I'm just trying to reach over for... It's a nice set of drawers, isn't it? I really like it. And I, sort of, I said to Ruth, I said, oh, you know, we... Don't really have that style anymore in our house, like an old. Oh, look at that! That fits perfectly. Just need literally a smidgen off, but I can fix that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's staying there for now, <laughs> and I will decide what happens to it. Until next time, until I have a, a shifty abouty and move more furniture. Right, it needs a spice. Come on, give me some spice. Back up, boys. Back up. Right. Let's, I want to see what this looks like.
if it was embossed in black. Or whether that's just silly and it just doesn't look right, or whether it would look amazing. <laughs> Right, volume's down, folks. Volume's down, please. Matt likes the drawers. He says, keep the drawers. I'll leave that running in case I need it again. So there you go, you've got the embossed... Oh, I think that looks quite classy. What do you think? I would keep the drawer, says Ellie. I'm a drawaholic. <laughs> I think I like that. It's a bit difficult for you guys to see on the video, but I'm going to switch this heater off. Heat tool. Now the question is, do we want a little poppage? Do we want it popped up a little bit? Need something popped up round here. Um, let's cut ourselves a strip of this. Might as well, might as well. Looks good, says Ellie. Thank you, Ellie. Get the seal of approval. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. And there's just a nice sort of space in here, which I'm going to try and tuck it into. Now, I think. Hopefully it's not on the wonk. I think I'm alright. A pop of pink behind the centre. Oh, sorry, Lisa. I just saw your comment. There we go. Right. One last thing. Amanda says, I really have to try this. Please do. If you try this out and you're part of my um, Facebook group, then do share it on there. We'd love to see what you've made. SSC inspired and shared is my. See, I'm tempted to whack on some butterflies, but we've got the black hexagons as well, which are nice. But I'm going to use these black dots, keeping in with the theme. Just put a little few to highlight the happy birthday. I don't think that's all. We would need never would have thunk <laughs> to do black on black nor did i really to be honest but i just thought oh let's try it we're going for a very classy looking card now i think i want to avoid the gold well i don't know do i oh it's so tempting but i'm going to step away from the gold butterflies because I want to keep it in keeping <laughs> with the um, with the colour challenge. Margaret says on the laptop, you're on the laptop as the iPad doesn't like the live video. So maybe that's why it glitches for people. Maybe certain devices don't like certain things. But thank you for coming back, Margaret. I know you were trying to come on earlier. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to reach my ink pads. Come here. Come here, everybody. So, today we used Versamark ink, Black Memento, and then I was inspired by the colour challenge on SU Colour Challenge. I used to be an ad, um, one of the design team, but because I, I had other challenges and responsibilities going on, I did drop it. So, it's nice to go back and do a challenge. And it is the kind of Facebook page where you can pop on and say, 
oh, anyone fancy giving me a challenge? And they will challenge you with three or four colours. So if you're stuck in a rut and you use the same colours or you just want to try something a bit different or think out the box, you can just go on there and say, can somebody challenge me with some colours? So go and check that out, SU Colour Challenge. So, Melon Mambo, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green. And this is my card using the Joseph's Coat Technique and Bows and Blossoms. Just a new stamp set. It does come with a punch, but guess who forgot to put the punch in the order or clicked the wrong numbers? We won't go there. Thank you. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. And I'll be back tonight at nine o'clock on my YouTube channel. Not sure what I'm doing yet, but um, some of you watched me last week and I managed to fix my mug, my mug box problem. So um, I might talk through that tonight. The other thing I've got off to the side here is a big pile of cards, Christmas cards and cards I've taken down from my door of fame, I call it, where if I get a card in the year, I try and put it on the door. And I'd like to actually, maybe I'll do that now. Maybe I'll go over to YouTube now and talk through my cards um, because I want to kind of put them away and they're just sat there and it's a job to do. How are we on the old time? OK, I'm going to do that. If you want to hop over to YouTube, I'm just going to go on there now, show you all my Christmas cards and any cards that I've, I've had throughout the year. OK, please don't be offended if yours isn't there. For whatever reason, it might have gone somewhere else or put on a different wall or whatever. OK, great. Thank you. Um, don't forget to, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can subscribe to my channel to make sure you've got all the latest videos. If you are not already following me on Facebook, you can. You can share out my videos. It's a great way for people to find me and be inspired and for me to get followers and to just to share the community of love and crafting. So it's not just about numbers. It's just about building our community of friendship and crafters. Take care. Have a fantastic day. I might see you in a minute over on YouTube if you have got time. And um, that's all for me. Take care and God bless. Bye bye.